Hi guys! So, we are here to discuss episode 2, 3, and 4 of I Know What You Did Last Summer. And don't forget, if you're going to enjoy the video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Make sure you click on the notification bell so you don't miss any other new videos. Holy moly! They really... Oh, I didn't see it coming that Lennon had a twin called Allison when it showed that Lennon had a twin. I was like, <gasps> and then I was like, wait, did Lennon kill Allison or did Allison kill Lennon? And then it was kind of like that. But then there was the twist that it's actually Allison still alive, but she's pretending to be Lennon. And then the twist and turns with like her father also being in on it. I was like, wow. This ish is good. Like the drama. And that I think is what gave me such Pretty Little Liar vibes and kind of a ringer vibes because there's the whole like, you're my sister. No, you're not my sister. I'm pretending to be my sister. And it was like, oh, and the blood and the gore. Ugh. I do think that the kills are very quick. And sometimes it's like you're reacting to the fact that they've already been killed. Um, there is a very, very tragic scene for me watching Johnny and Coach die. That was a well executed, smart kill sequence, but I actually felt really bad because I'm just like, really? The first to die is the Asian LGBT character. Like, that was a bit sad. I was like, come on. And then there's kind of the reveal that L Lennon is also LGBT and also Margot is LGBT. So I'm like, okay, how many LGBT characters are in there? Because I'm pretty sure Lennon, Johnny, Margot, Dylan, is everybody? <laughs> I don't know. And, and that's the thing. I think it's really messy how they handled that. But, you know, it is what it is. The cinematography is still so great in 2, 3, and 4. And the realization of the fact that Lennon was really not a good person and had issues. And now Allison has to pretend to be Lennon and even and have kind of those issues as well. I think the duplicity and the playing the other sister um, angle is very dramatic. However, I feel like four episodes in, I'm still not actually getting enough of the other characters with like Margot and Dylan and Riley. So, and I do have to say the acting, like the performances do vary. And I think Lennon and Allison, played by Madison Isman, is a knockout. Like she gives it her all every single episode and it is great. I do think that Riley and Dylan are kind of like, eh, with their performances. I don't know. For those of you who's been with me on the channel for a while, you know I've watched Marvel's Inhumans. So imagine my shock when I see Auron pop up. I was like, what? Sonia Balmores is Mel, who is Margot's mother. I like her character. She only has very small screen time, but she's in there and I love her. And I want more because I actually enjoyed her in Inhumans. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the whole thing with Bruce and Lila, I'm just like, eek. When I saw the first episode and I saw Bruce and I was like, you're a bit good looking for a dad character. And I'm like, okay, they must be going the Riverdale route. But then, of course, Bruce and Lila has a thing. I'm just like, okay. Another subplot. I don't like Doug. Yes, I don't like Officer Doug. And I kind of feel bad saying that now because he got offed. <laughs> um, off screen as well. He got offed off screen. So I was like, ugh. Um, he was really annoying. I'm sorry. Officer Doug was just not it for me. I do wonder how it will go forward now that the dead body, now that the dead body of Lennon slash Allison is found and there's the funeral and everything and the real killer is still out there. You know, there are so many different suspects. I really did think it was maybe Clara who was the killer, but no, it turns out Clara just had had held on to Lennon slash Allison's body for like a year before she like released it. That scene scared me. I was like, oh, dead body, floating, not ready. 
I was half expecting it to be like some hallucination. I do think that with the editing and the pacing of the show, it is a bit weird. Um, however, the good cinematography and the CW dramaness of it all does make me want to keep watching. So I guess we'll keep watching. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, bye guys. Thank you so much for watching. So you can check out some more videos right now, right there, right there. Do you see them? Also, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss a single video. Bye!